Now, ever since I was a young bloke, I have been a mad collector of rare and unusual plants. And this nursery, Telangi Wholesale Nursery, located in one of the most beautiful parts of Victoria, has been an absolute inspiration for me. Now, let me show you some of my favourite plants, plants to die for. These guys grow some incredible stuff. When I first came here, I was blown away by this enormous honeysuckle. It's the giant Burmese honeysuckle, Lonicera hilbrandiana. Now look, it's a huge plant and it has this wonderful glossy foliage and huge white flowers that fade to a golden colour. But look, it's the size of the plant that makes it so spectacular. It'll cover a huge area and when it's in a mass of flower, the fragrance is intoxicating. Then there's this beauty. It's the Gurkha Daphne and its winter flower display is no way near as impressive as its incredible fragrance. It could easily fill a typical back garden full of heavenly fragrance all winter long. This Daphne Bohula is an absolute ripper plant. It originates from the eastern Himalayas between Nepal and Bhutan. Now, in the wild, it'd grow to about 10,000 feet and get to about four metres in height. In an Australian garden, it's probably gonna get to two metres in height and be smothered in flowers. Now, it is a real collectible. You're not gonna find this everywhere, but it's well worthwhile hunting down. One of the more unusual plants here that I've spotted is Mahonia. Now the autumn and winter foliage colour of this plant is stunning and I've admired it in Japan and Korea where it's used extensively for its unusual foliage, shape and colour in all sorts of landscapes. Now how's this for a real weird and wonderful flower? This is the witch hazel, now it's a cool climate tree. This is a particularly unusual form, the orange flower is called Jelena, it's a real collectible. Now these trees are a little bit more difficult than most to grow. They love a cooler climate. They're very hard to get your hands on. You're gonna to have to hunt around your local independent garden center. It's about 20 years old, but they take about 10 to get to this stage. And then you can see they get the, that lovely lichen and moss growing through them. It's a really beautiful aged effect. Now, if you're going to collect unusual plants and your independent garden centre is the place to go hunting for them. They'll search and find all these sorts of weird and wonderfuls and it's well worthwhile asking for it if you can't find it.